My name is Anna van Alphen. I'm a student here at Tilburg University. I study uh, economic psychology. Economic psychology is a study of economic behavior. It's how people make decisions, how people cope with, uh, with scarcity, um, how do people respond to advertising, why don't we prepare well enough for our pension, questions like that. Economic psychology mainly focuses on uh, choice behavior. How do we make certain choices? For example, there's a choice paradox. Uh, people would like to have more choice, but in the end, the more choice they have, the less satisfied they are with the actual choice they made. Economic psychology is basically a Tilburg invention. Already in the early 70s, we founded the International uh, Association for Research in Economic Psychology, as well as the Journal of Economic Psychology. We also have one of the few programs in economic psychology in Europe, and we have by far the longest track record in this field. It's a really small university and it's, it feels like a bit of a family, actually. Uh, the program Economic Psychology is, is not a very heavy program in the sense that you are required to study all the time and have to be reading all the time. There's always time for leisure activities, uh, different societies, so you actually really get to experience and enjoy uh, student life. We use research-based education and that means that our students typically read empirical articles from uh, academic journals and that we discuss them in depth in our um, classes and where possible we try to get our students actually actively involved in doing research as well. That's what we're actually doing during class, uh, mainly during the work group or the small seminars, um, that we work in small groups and actually perform these studies, perform experiments. Um, after the bachelor, students typically enter the master. Uh, we offer a master's in economic psychology here at Tilburg University as well. And our experience is that our students easily find a job uh, afterwards, often in um, profit organizations, in, in companies such as market research companies or advertising agencies, but also sometimes in non-governmental organizations such as um, uh, the NIBUD, the Netherlands Institute for Budgetary Advice, or uh, the Authority of Financial Markets. And I think it's fair to say that our, our graduates are behavioral scientists with a, a strong feel for how to apply behavioral insights into uh, professional environments. What I would really like to do in my future uh, job is uh, to change uh, uh, behavior in people for the better. So not specifically for economic uh, wins, but more in social desirable uh, ways. So people um, adhere more in uh, uh, traffic, with, uh, traffic rules, for example, or are less inclined to throw their trash just away on the street, but put it in the bin, for example. So those are examples that I, I would like to change behavior for the better.